I'm Kim McGrail, and I'm an associate professor in the School of Population Public Health. The course I teach is called Healthcare Systems Analysis, and it's a combination of theoretical and practical content in the sense that what we talk about on the theory side is what do we mean by healthcare system performance, how would we measure it, uh, and what are the variables that we can create uh, in order to do that. And then on the practical side, we actually have a training data set that's provided by Population Data BC, and we teach the students how to use those administrative data to answer questions about health system performance. So by the end of the class, we've connected the theory to the practical. Because I think it's a, a really important tool for us. It is by no means the only source of, of information in the health sphere. Uh, and I would not try to rank it in importance compared to other things like patient surveys and so on. But it does give us a picture of how people are using the healthcare system at a population level. Um, how does a particular health policy affect people's use of healthcare services? Does the healthcare system actually improve people's health or not? Um, those are the kinds of questions that are really amenable to administrative data. The, the general approach I take to teaching is, is not a didactic classroom. My ideal setup is to have uh, students sitting in a horseshoe so everybody can see everybody else. Uh, maybe an hour of, of each three hour class uh, trying to help them understand information that they've read or interacted with in some way prior to the class. But then the other two hours are spent with students speaking with each other or having debates or in the case of the practical part of the course learning and executing SAS commands. This is, gives them an opportunity to learn from each other, and of course I learn as much as they do probably by the end of the term. Um. I think if you're starting to teach, one of the things you want to keep in mind is what you liked and appreciated and maybe liked less about the courses that you've taken, because I think that that will be a large part of how you approach the classroom. I think it's also really important to keep in mind that in the school we're teaching adults. So I think the teaching style is probably quite a bit different. These are people who have already gone through at least one, if not two degrees, and that they are really ready to engage with the material. So I'm very honored to be given this prize. Uh, I mean, it would be an honor to win any prize within the school, but that one that comes based on the ratings of students who've taken my course has a very particular and special meaning to me.